All right, today we are reading Ruby Licious by Victoria Kahn, and I have a special guest reader here, uh, Ash Jr. And which is also named. Nope, just Ash Jr. Right? I know, but. Yeah, this, okay. It's also a long book. This book is whole. This book oh, you're saying this book is a what type of book? Um, It's a Pink Alicious book. Pink Alicious, that's right. Why you call it Ruby Licious? It's because there's well, a Ruby. Don't tell. Yeah, don't tell them. Because we're gonna read it, right? Yes. And it says, "Thank you" in plain letters. Uh huh. <laughs> While playing, I found a little stone for my rock collection. I love. All my rocks, but I love this one the most because it is my 100th rock, I said, showing my collection to Peter, my brother. That rock is old and dirty, said Peter. I can clean it, I said, rubbing it with a cloth. See, it was dirty, and now it's, uh, uh it's still dirty. Peter picked up the cloth and started rubbing the rock. I don't know, Pinkalicious. I think you could find a nicer rock than this one. Oh, look, what's that? A unicorn. A drawing of a unicorn, that's right. <clears throat> Suddenly, the room filled with a poof of red smoke and a figure appeared. Oh, that's a lot of red smoke. Pink smoke would be much prettier, I said. <clears throat> Red is a pretty color, too. Just think of it as very dark pink, said the figure. You found my home on the luckiest of days, when all the rotating hemispheric coordinates are aligned with the number 100, said the figure. So you know, now have me, your own granter of wishes. Congratulations. Wishes? Wow, are you a genie? Asked Peter. You think she's a genie? No? Have you read this book? Mm -hmm. Oh, I haven't read this book. Uh oh, all right. <clears throat> she's a person. She's a person? Mm -hmm. Aren't genies supposed to be in a bottle? I asked. I'm not a genie. I wouldn't live in a bottle because bottles get recycled, she said. I can live anywhere, in trees or even rocks. Okay, we'll call you Rocky, I said. I guess that's fine for now. You get one wish. After I grant your wish, I am free to go, said Rocky. What would you wish for? I would wish for a castle. A castle? That's a pretty big wish. All right, what would you wish for? Uh, that sounds fun. I thought genies gave three wishes, not one said Peter. Well, as I said, I am not a genie. I grant one wish, no more. Granting wishes scares me. You never know how they're going to turn out, Rocky said. Um, that's can right. I wait? What was that? That's right. You do yeah, that's right. Some wishes could be bad, right? Yeah. Like, I wish for shoes that never move, and then I would get stuck to the floor. Yes, and if you wish... For a house that snow falls into, you'd be freezing. You'd be freezing, right? If you wish for a house that snow fell into? Yeah. Uh, can I wish for a pile of sweets? I asked. That sounds like a wonderful wish, but I'm not sure, Rocky said nervously. Let me show you first, then you can decide. Poof! Uh -oh. A big cloud of smoke swirled around us, and suddenly we were standing on top of a giant mountain of candy. Cupcakes, cookies, and ice cream. Wow, that's sweet-tastic. Peter and I shrieked with happiness, trying to eat as much as possible. What's wrong, Rocky? I asked. Oh, I'm worried about how this wish will turn out. Is, is this your very best wish? Your most favorite thing in the, uh, the world? She asked us meekly. It's pretty amazing, said Peter. But my stomach hurts and I ate too much. And my head aches from so much sugar, I said. 
The candy started to melt into a colorful swirl, and we began to sink into it. Maybe this isn't a very good wish, I said. Let's go back to your house and eat something healthy. Can you wish for something else? Rocky asked. What if I wished that we could fly? Asked Peter. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Would that be the very best wish? Is that what you want more than anything else in the entire world? Rocky asked. Yes, said Peter. Then I will show you your wish, she said. Her voice was shaking. Flying, that's a pretty fun wish, right? But the airplane oh. might break down in a hot seat belt. Oh no, <laughs> that's right. Oh look, they have, uh, they have an airplane. They don't just get to fly like with their bodies. Poof, a cloud of smoke formed around us as we floated out the window and into the sky on the flying machine. This is funerific, I screamed while we zipped towards the clouds. Whoa! Be, be, be careful, Rocky said anxiously. Look out for the bird, Pinkalicious, Peter hollered. Peter, watch out for that plane, I yelled. Eek! Rocky screeched. This might not be the very best wish. Let's think of something else, I said. Yes, please. Something safe. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> something safe, begged Rocky. I've always wished to be a princess in a castle, I said. That's what I wished for. Yeah, it is. And I could be a prince, said Peter. Okay, if that's your very best. Your favorite wish ever, Rocky said doubtfully. Poof! A puff of smoke revealed a beautiful castle. Wow, that's pink amazing, I said. Yes, everyone thinks they want a castle, Rocky sighed. Where are you, Peter? This castle is so cold and big, I said, shivering. I'm at the drawbridge. There's something in the moat, said Peter. Careful of the alligator and watch out for fire. Breathing dragons, yelled Rocky. Hatch, hatch, hatch! Rocky sneezed. I'm freezing and I'm frightened. Maybe wishing for a castle isn't the very best wish. Let's go home, I said. That dragon scared me. Flying made me dizzy. And all that sugar gave me a bellyache, Rocky cried. And she hid under the covers. I'm sorry. You really are afraid of everything. The wishes would have been better and less scary if we shared the sweets with all the kids in the world, I said. And added seat belts to the flying machine, said Peter. And use the fire-breathing dragon to warm up the castle, I said. I was too scared to think of that, said Rocky. I wish we, you were brave because then you wouldn't be afraid. And then you would have more fun, I said. That would be our very best, most favorite, Peter added, wish in the whole wide world, I said. Pinkalicious and Peter, you made a wish f for me said Rocky. Smoke swirled around her and she began to sparkle and shimmer. So did her rock. I held it in my hand as it glittered. It's, it's, it's a ruby, I said. That's right, my real name is Ruby. I have been cursed for a hundred years by someone who didn't like their wish. You broke the curse on this lucky day when you generously made a wish for me, said Ruby. Ruby swirled around. I'm not a genie, but I am a genius. Now that I'm not scared, I can grant your wishes. Poof. Here's a castle. It's a little smaller, without dragons and alligators. I hope you enjoy your new flying machine. It has seat belts and helmets. It travels slower and doesn't go very high, but you can make it go upside down and sideways. Whee! I said, trying it out. What do you think she's going to do with the sweets? Oh, you already know, don't you? Yes. Um, yes. The sweets don't happen. Oh, the sweets don't happen. Oh. Lastly, here are nutritious lollipops, guaranteed to last forever. forever. Ooh, that's yummy. So keep licking and licking and licking and they never go away. And they never go away, Ruby said. Peter and I hugged her. 
Thank you, Ruby. They are Ruby-licious, we yelled together. Oh, it's a pinkalicious. Yes, and Ruby-licious is what? The name of the? Character. Well, the name of the book, right? Yeah. Yeah. Ruby-licious. All right, good night. I love you. That's not even nighttime. You can say good night, I love you. <laughs> good night, I love you.